Afternoon cactus people. Today we're having a little look at uh, one of my favourite Apuntias, Apuntia quimillo, which is a very smooth skinned Apuntia. It's more friendly than the other Apuntias. It um, has got the occasional blockage but nowhere near the amount that uh, are usually on Apuntias. And as you can see it doesn't have many spines either. You're lucky to have one or two spines on each pad. Uh, sometimes you've got three or four, but that's about it. Sometimes you don't get any spines at all on the pad, which is also quite interesting. Believe it or not, when I first was given a, a cutting of this, I didn't really like it. But um, over the years it's grown on me and now it's one of my favourite Apuntias. It's quite easy to root. It seems to be quite tolerant of the um, frost, especially the the cold weather we had back in Jan uh, December last year. It uh, put up with that quite well. Um, I'd say easy to root. Here's a, a tray I rooted last year. I'm not going to pull these out now, it's just to demonstrate they've all taken very nicely um, quite strong root systems on those I'm sure if we turn it upside down which I'm not going to do uh, you can see it's it's is rooted very well uh, those ones I said I did those last year this one probably two or three two years I, I think this one has been in the pot so not very fast growing in the pots and they also they can be quite flimsy in the pot uh, but once they get the roots into the ground they do a lot better but um, that wasn't the main reason I was making this video the, the main reason is um, this one in particular uh, last year I left the um, cactus house door open and I came in and a cat had got in and I scared the cat didn't mean to uh, but it ran rampant right through the bed and it knocked this one over and it was suffering quite badly um, I think one arm broke off it which I've uh, put aside to um, root up uh, but right now <coughs> I think after staking it up last year it's regained its strength it seems to have done that over winter it's not anywhere near as floppy as it was and I thought I would do a, a sort of live in inverted commas video have um, taken the supports off so here we go this could go wrong uh, I'm going to cut through them all take all the bits of string off I think that's it there's one more up here oh yeah that nearly went wrong uh, but that's the supports out let's get rid of the poles there's two of them left. I did have another one in here, but I took that out last week. <coughs> um, yeah. It seems fine. A little bit floppy on that side, but uh, I'm sure that will pick up as the year goes on. It uh, does tend to have a bit of an upward branching habit. So that should be fine. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, other thing I was going to say is um, it's not doing it yet. Uh, just looking for remnants from last year which I can't see any it exudes nectar yes, this one hasn't flowered yet I'm hoping it might flower this year but um, it does regularly exude ne nectar down the, uh, the pads and the ants which have already started looking around the greenhouse uh, once they find this and the nectar starts coming out they'll be on it all year uh, they just love the nectar and they take it away so um, they eat it, so it doesn't cause any problem with sooty mould, which um, you would expect sometimes uh, with nectar coming out of plants. So uh, just a, an added bonus for the ants there. They, they don't seem to do me any harm. Uh, they come and go and they're, they're not causing any problems. So um, good luck to them really. It's uh, just a bonus for them. I have noticed um, Lynn from Desert Park, Plants of Avalon has got the uh, the netted variety of this which I think is called the Cobra Apuntia and Anders in uh, Denmark also mentioned that his has been uh, 
quite badly affected or even killed by the frost last year which is a bit sad but uh, I'd love to get hold of the, uh, the netted version of it which uh, would look very good alongside it I think but um, there we go uh, I'm gonna leave that one now and say it's a bit wobbly but I'm sure that'll be fine if I stop playing with the thing uh, these are developing it ouch into main trunks which uh, should take the weight nicely. I'll keep my eye on it. If it does look like it's leaning too much, I'll put one support back in for a while, but uh, not too worried at the moment. Okay, there you go. One of my favourite bunches. And thank you for watching, everyone.